You can clap for her again when I'm done. Uh, Marsha characterized her time meeting Clint and Nancy as a neophyte. Well, I was really, I mean, I didn't even know what an orchestra librarian did. I, through a series of circumstances, uh, was invited to come into the Philadelphia Orchestra Library, and I see by, the, by being reminded by the date of the first conference, uh, I came into the Philadelphia Orchestra Library as an apprentice uh, less than a year after the first conference. And I heard some talk of MOLA conference floating around, but it didn't really mean anything to me. And what really meant a lot to me from that point on, as I worked there, was that Clint and Nancy and Bob, basically, even though I didn't know what I was doing or what anything was, they expected me to do it. And it's kind of like a lot of us that have found ourselves into this field. And to being able to be guided by three people that were all so concerned and so willing of their time to give to me, and then, of course, subsequent to many other people, um, some of them who are in this room today, some of them who are elsewhere in the country in major uh, jobs in the library world, it's just unequaled. Uh, they really were working with me personally to turn me into what I am now. Uh, and in the meantime, they were working very hard uh, nationally. Uh, they were publishing Marcato. They were arranging the communication, the errata lists. I mean, it's truly amazing all the things that were going on. And for myself, arriving on that scene when they were all just starting, I just take it for granted. That's the way it is. But it never occurred to me uh, before then that that was something that was brand new. Um, one of the things that I wanted to tell you was that uh, Nancy, in addition to working very hard in the library, as did Clint, they often took work home with them, both uh, orchestra work and also uh, MOLA work. I mean, they really were dedicated to it, and they pretty much spent all the time they could. One, one brief anecdote about Nancy that I wanted to share was that um, in 1990, after I'd been working in the library uh, as a part-timer for about six years, I was a freelance bass player but spent most of my energies in the, in the library, um, I had bought a house. And the first, I took a week off from the library to deal with the house and stuff like that. And Nancy Bradbird was one of my first phone calls that I got after I bought a house. And she called and said, hey, there's an opening in Phoenix. And I said, <laughs> <laughs> and up until that point, whenever there was an opening, they'd always put these ads from the International Musician up on the bulletin board for anyone to see it. And uh, I said, no, 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 I want to be a bass player. Well, come 1990, I was ready to be a librarian. And uh, wouldn't you know, as soon as I bought a house, I got my first job. And within uh, a few months, I was gone from New Jersey, and I was the librarian in Phoenix for my first real library job. But it was Nancy that uh, gave me my first contact, let me know about it. Of course, she knew about it because she was Mercado editor. You know, we, Mercado editors knew everything first. So their encouragement, their sharing of knowledge uh, is something that I will always appreciate. Uh, we've all experienced it, and we all owe them a deep, gret of, uh, deep uh, debt of gratitude. So thank you very much. Thank you all. We did invite um, all four of our founders to be here, and of course they could not. Uh, Nancy and Clint and Victor could not. Uh, that's why we went on to film this, so we can send them an archival copy with permission, we hope. And uh, we have something for each one of them. The mats you've been signing are for a, a photo presentation. We're going to give them each one a photograph of the first conference and then a photograph from this conference when it's done, so, uh, framed. And we also have a plaque for each one, so we'd like to give Jim his plaque now. And this just, this just says, Mola, to Mola founder James Birdall, with gratitude and appreciation for your many contributions on behalf of the Major Orchestra Librarians Association, given this 15th day of April 2007, 25th anniversary conference. <laughs>